I'm going to attempt to make a video to tell you guys how to rebuild a Polaris primary clutch. Um, mine looks terrible. It's very oxidized and crappy. It's been underwater like 50 times. Polaris's actually have a great clutch design, especially compared to Can-Am. Um, however, mine spent literally hours at the bottom of a lake. So, you do need one special tool. Most people tell you you need about 10 special tools, but you really only need this one. Uh, it's 40 bucks on eBay. There's the part number that will focus. Um... Anyways, I can post a link to this in the description. This is to get this little nut off right here. All right, so that's not a big deal. That just slides on there. Put your impact in there with a three-quarter adapter, which is um, somewhere around here. Anyways, um, yeah, this guy. Three-quarter to half-inch drive adapter, unless you have a three-quarter inch rat air rasher or something. Put that in there knock off that nut. That's the easy part. Once you get the nut off, you actually have to unscrew this entire piece off of, which is essentially this shaft. Um, it looks like this. This piece is threaded, right? And to do that, most people say you need a special tool that holds the bottom of the primary and another special tool that slips over here and has three things that grab here to twist it. Um, I'm going to show you an easier way to do this, which is kind of ghetto. Actually, I wouldn't say it's easier, but it does require you to not have four different special tools. Also, just to pull this top plate off, um, people say you need a special tool, um, but if you just are not a retard and you pull the bolts off in the right sequence, put some downforce uh, why, with one hand while you're doing it, you can do it without any tools. Um, so the only real special tool you need to rebuild the primary is this one to rebuild it and obviously the puller to get it off the bike. So yeah, I'm going to try to show you how to do this the redneck way. Alright, so we already used our special tool to remove this little retainer piece, which is kind of irrelevant because this thing is locked on there really well. Look at those threads, you can see they're pretty nasty looking. So the first thing you do is hit those threads with some PV blaster. Second thing you do is you get your two other special tools you used and you combine them into one very special super tool. I'll show you what I mean by that. So the problem is you don't have much to grab on here, right? So you gotta find a way to hold this and spin it at the same time. And it's pretty tricky because it's all aluminum and you can't just clamp it in a vise, right? Because you'll break these little fins off. So what I figured out was if you take your special tool, your two special tools, um, and you slip two washers, your puller like so insert your puller into your other special tool you end up with this crazy goofy looking contraption like this which seems kind of crazy but what this allows you to do is thread this into the center of the primary and when you tighten this down it gives you a way to spin the back plate of the primary and you have the front plate held in the vise and what this will do is when you put a good size half inch impact on it It'll spin it apart and get that this uh, Y piece right here off of these threads. I have two right here because I'm making my two good primaries into one. Uh, my two bad primaries into one good one, hopefully. Um, so what I'd really recommend doing is just buying a CV Tech or a new clutch because this is really not that much, really not uh, really too much work for what I'm getting out of it, but. I'm already too invested in this, so I'm going to try to learn how to do it anyways. But yeah, so this is how you can get your primary apart. And the reason you need to get your primary apart is to, I don't know, do things like change that shim in there. Look how rusty mine is. Or change your one-way bearing. Um, or the roller bearing, whatever they call it on these. Or um, to change your rollers. See how these rollers look? See how there's a flat spot on it? So those are all the reasons you need to do this. Uh, or to change these buttons. So you see how grooved mine is right here? This is why this primary is screwed because it's got so much slack in it. So yeah, basically just put that in the vise like shown, hit that with the impact. I find it helps if you put a pry bar in here to back this up, something with that big guy, keep it from bouncing, and that'll just unscrew it right apart without any more special tools than the minimum required. Obviously you can use a piece of pipe for this, but the special tool happens to work perfect.